Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'd like to welcome you to the credits video for Let's Play Mad Max. This has been a long time coming, and I think I earned that ending. And I mean, I kind of called it like a hundred videos ago, but goddamn if it didn't break my heart to see it play out the way it did. Mad Max. Driving alone into the wasteland. Hope is dead. Glory is dead. Chum Bucket's dead. Doggery Doo has been left behind. And even the Magnum Opus has been completely destroyed. And not to, you know, critique those guys who just scrolled off the screen, but maybe they should have put more consulting into the, uh, into the user interface, given that bug with the bios. <laughs> Tim Mann, son of Hugh. I mean, for obvious reasons. I can't really say that I'm, uh... Hugely, uh, in love with the way that ended. But I am at least glad... ...that I took down the Warlord. Scrotus is dead. The war boys here are shattered. And even though the threat of the roadkill and the buzzards still remain, I feel like this part of the wasteland finally has an actual chance to survive. To build something together. Just as long as the people who are building things together are more like Chum Bucket than they are like Max. Ah, uh, he, he deserved a lot better than that. This is a fantastic game! I mean, you know, the story was really dark and bleak, but I was prepared for that. The fighting was excellent. Even if it didn't take very long before I just started absolutely stomping everyone into the ground every single time. I really liked uh, the discussions with uh, Griffa. I liked Max tr uh, visibly trying not to befriend anyone. I guess this will be going up tomorrow on the... Thursday the 7th, which means, uh, <laughs> I think it's the second year in a row where we very narrowly avoid having a video on my birthday. Shame, that. Since, uh, oh god, I turned 35 on the 8th. <laughs> I've been doing this for a long time now. 
thought some of the targeting stuff was kind of finicky, where, you know, if you line up with the thing, with, like, the, the glowing outline, you will absolutely hit it, even if there's a hill in the way, even if it's on the other side of the car, when he actually points the gun at it. He will absolutely hit whatever you are aiming at, if that happens. And on the other hand, even if you're physically lining up the gun at whatever you're pointing at, if it doesn't have the outline, you will fire and nothing will happen. Like, that wasn't great, but... Oh, they don't have it listed on the, the characters. That's a shame. There's a lot of names I recognize in there. Yeah, Travis Willingham there at the end was uh, Scrotus. Perhaps better known as Grog these days, if you follow certain D&D podcasts. I remember that, Soul of a Man. That was, uh... That was the song they played over the, uh, the intro cutscene. You know, I noticed in that last cutscene there, before he sets off in the... Uh, in the, uh, Interceptor, and by the way, I do kind of like how symmetrical everything is, that he's setting off basically in exactly the same way that he did he got here just to the much shittier uh, condition for his car but uh and notice before he sets off he sets down the photo of uh you know the woman and the girl the one that I found in the very first camp I ever raided What? Dual Shock. Like, do they have to say that because it's possible to play this with a PlayStation 4 controller? I don't know. Paint my name in blood. It's done. The Plains of Silence awaits. Congratulations! Yeah, it's the same outfit I was wearing. It doesn't have the bandana on or anything. It's not the same car, though, for, uh, by a long shot. Congratulations, you have successfully completed the story of Mad Max. However, there are still plenty of things to do. Chum Bucket and the Magnum Opus, along with some other major characters, are back again. Feel free to continue exploring, tie up loose ends, and upgrade your car as you see fit. The Wasteland is your playground. Max's black leather jacket. An extra level. In this jacket, I became a warrior of the road. Take 50% less damage from fist and weapon attacks. You bet your ass I do! <laughs> so I think it's this jacket here in good condition. Hey, look, even the metal on the uh on the leg brace is shiny and clean. Huh. Didn't notice that that wasn't full before. Was it, I think they like the the, the bar the, the not bar fillage brain. God damn it! Uh, I think the 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 progress on that little meter there was dropped back when they gave me this new upgrade. Oh, not here. Uh, gun. Max's iconic shotgun, the real thing, a double-barreled, sawed-off shotgun from the old days. It's reliable and reloads quicker than the other makeshift shotguns. Before I do that, you know, I, d I just realized just now that I could have done this. Uh, sorry. There's a good look at this stupid gun. 
Huh, it's in a diamond pattern. I always assumed it would be in a square for some reason. Do you wish to purchase and use Max's iconic shotgun? Hell yes I do! Again, wrong... Yeah, that's the one, all right. Double-barreled. That's really well done, actually. And since I have one left, I do kind of want to know what the uh, original double barrel shotgun looked like. Oh, that's right, it was just a piece of makeshift crap. Yeah! Wait a minute. Huh. The two barrels and the double barrel shotguns are on top of each other. Interesting. What does that actually do? Oh, it did... Oh, it, it reloads quicker, that's right. Which I can't actually tell until... Uh, hey. Sorry about what happened, Chum Bucket. I'm glad you're suddenly okay again. Nice job bringing the car back from oblivion, too. Or am I, anyway? In the Heights, just up here for some reason. I think when I come back, I might, you know, come back to this. I might turn off the, uh, the thing that lets you... What am I trying to say? The thing that prevents you from, like, just flipping end over end all the time. Yeah, fuck it, I'll just fast travel. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice. I am glad I got to hear that. Okay, so... I'm just gonna do this. Keep an eye out. Yes, I will protect your sake. But don't be long, please. Honestly, that doesn't feel any different, since he reloads all the shells at once with the quad barrel shotgun. But okay. I mean, I'm not gonna say no to that. Put back on my beloved dual treadies. Sorry, groovies. And to complete a thing I said in the previous video... Skulls for the Skull Throne. It would be nice if they got, went back to being happy again, you know, so it wasn't... Let him contemplate his life and all that. Or, uh, you're not looking to dismantle Chum Bucket, are you? Alright, so... I'm gonna jump cut here, because I need to go and check out the achievements I've earned. Since, uh... You know, there's that. And we can't check them in the game. So, uh, beep. Okay, here we are in the achievements page. And my laws and Drapper says... You've survived tougher. So here we go. Uh, from the top, since it's been so long, I don't even remember which ones I had. Everything lost again. Complete Act 1. Wasteland of Opportunities. Complete Act 2. Digging a Deeper Hole. Complete Act 3. Power in the Machine. Complete Act 4. Downward Spiral re Reawakening. Complete Act 5. Slight Distraction. Complete the Dinky D Wasteland Mission. Slight Distraction. Then you go back and rescue the dog. 
Stop and smell the roses. Complete all wasteland missions. Oh, it's good that I did that. Golden Boy. Reach a new legend rank. That was a long-ass time ago. Road Warrior. Reach Road Warrior legend rank. The Quick Driver. Complete a time bomb death run. Smart. The Smart Driver. Complete a scatter death run. The Skilled Driver. Complete a barrel bash death run. Well, thank you. The Saint. Complete a death run in an Archangel. Start of something good. Clear all threatened Jeet's territory. Spreading the word. Clear all threatened Pink Eye's territory. Jeet thrives. Reduce threat to zero in the Balefire Flatland around a uh, region around Jeet's stronghold. Pink Eye thrives. Reduce threat to zero in the Nitsack region around Pink Eye's stronghold. Daddy wants a new grill. Collect all hood ornaments. Unlocked today. Hey. Quench their thirst. Give water to a wanderer. Fresh air. Drive the magnum opus off a wasteland jump. Doing Jeet a big favor. Build two projects in Jeet's stronghold. Doing gut gash and pink eye a big favor. Build two projects in gut gashes and pink eye's stronghold. Z. Just rewards. Have 5,000 scrap in your inventory. <laughs> I kind of passed that a long time ago. Yeah, 23rd of March. Honestly, I'm surprised it took that long. Uh, scrap Collector. Have 10,000 scrap in your inventory. On the road to nowhere. First day. Fucking Valentine's Day. Travel 1,300 car lengths in a vehicle. The bigger they are, take down a top dog camp. Raising Legend. Take down all Scrotus camps. God, that felt good. Wasteland Chef. Eat a meal of maggots. Up, up, and away. Fly the balloon at every vantage outpost. Rust is the new black. Collect all body colors. Blockhead. Own the best V6 and V8 engines. Explosions are not enough. Complete all optional objectives in all camps. Maximum. Fully upgrade max. <laughs> oh, that was the 27th of March, which means it w didn't include the, uh, the bonuses at the end of the game. Just walk away. Travel 650 car lengths on foot. Again, day one. Or close to it, anyway. Uh, I don't see anything earlier than February thir uh, 14th here. Uh, and the achievements I didn't get, at least not yet, are Running Wild. Complete at least one race at every death run location. Haha. <laughs> the Guardian. Successfully complete a death run with every Archangel. The Messenger. Complete a death run in legendary time with every Archangel. The Exile. Defeat an enemy vehicle with every Archangel. I don't think I ever bothered using them in combat, to be honest. Uh, keep up the good work. Clear all threat in Gutgash's territory, and Gutgash thrives. Reduce threat to zero in the Parch Moon region around Gutgash's stronghold. A thousand words. Collect all history relics. Maximum air. Be airborne in a vehicle for four seconds or more, and land without dying. Yeah, that's not going to have any armor on it. The Constructionist. Build all projects in all strongholds. Bomb Specialist. Clear all minefields. No-brainer. Destroy all scarecrows. I like that. That's a good name. Fucking Wizard of Oz reference over here out of nowhere. Sniper Suppressor. Take out all scrotus snipers. Looked everywhere. Loot all scavenging locations. Up to the task. Complete all non-repeating challenges. So, uh... Time to get back in, I guess. And what do I want to do? Actually... Well, there's the timer. I should, uh, check just this very quickly, because I know where it is. The Interceptor! A survivor, a king among the mighty rollers, a machine with a thousand lives, a true spiritual rival of the Magnum Opus. Since I kind of murdered you, I'm going to give you the uh, rest of the day off, chum. Thank you for being at my side, and I'm sorry it ended the way it did for both you and the Magnum Opus.
Oh yeah, the two big gas tanks in the back. And just the shotgun. It's weird that it looks like a car-ass car, huh? It's not covered in spikes and shit. There's actual lights in those headlights. Oh, no way, they all have headlights. Never mind, but, you know, still. The black on black, ladies and gentlemen. The camera is getting all squidgy because it's going so fast. Uh. So yeah, he set up on the dashboard that... La that uh... Oh no. Oh hell. being an order. This one! Will I, will I ever come back? But, uh, I can't help but wonder, what happens if you didn't collect that one? Like 10 million hours earlier at the beginning of the game. I didn't really get into it while the credits were rolling, but my, uh... In my experience, it always comes down to one question. Do I recommend this game? You know, do I recommend that people play this game? And I'll admit that it's not for everyone. It's really, really bleak. And, uh, I... I feel like a lot of the events in the game were kind of repetitive. Like, after a while... It all just kind of blurs together into this immense... Uh... Oh, I fucked that up. It all just kind of blurs together into this long... sort of violent montage. Don't throw rocks at my car. I got to do one last one of those. I don't know, it just seemed like every task was either vi uh, fist fighting, looting, or car combat. He wasn't even pointing in the right direction there. Yeah, I recommend this game. Even still. I mean, it does take place in a giant desert, but there's so many things to do just packed into every location. Look at all these fucking scavenging sites you can check out. Uh... Look, so many, so many more Griffa tokens you can earn than you can actually spend. Oops, I forgot about that. Fine. It's only right that they be here for the very ending, anyway. Let's just talk to this guy, and, uh, maybe call it, I guess. I really enjoy, like... The, probably more than any other game I've ever played, I really enjoyed watching the magnum opus grow from being that rusty piece of shit to being a genuinely impressive war engine. Like, this could have been just a shitty tie-in game, but they put a lot of, you know, love and effort into this, and it shows. That's part of the reason why I kept coming back to the idea of how great would it be if these people, and you know, the same dev, could, uh... Oh, uh, 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 no, it didn't make it. Could come back and, uh...
How do I get up there to talk to this man? Or woman. I should presume. Plenty of both. they could come back and, uh, you know, continue this, even if they can't continue with a Mad Max license, or, you know, given that the story would make no sense of the storyline. Yes! He said it! I was wondering. There he's talking to Chum again. Which is fair, given that him and the car are both hallucination at this point, but whatever. Never seemed to bother Griffa. And he obviously wasn't real. Sit tight. Certainly, yes. You know I would never leave her side. I noticed that. Oh, I think Pink's gonna be real happy. We can't really feel the weight of Dead Lord Scrotus's terror anymore. Not so much, anyway. I remember this time, I didn't look in Wasteland missions first. People in Pink Eye's region are noticing that Scrotus' threat is lowering. That asshole is dead and in the ground where he belongs. Well, technically, he's being picked apart by, you know, actual buzzards, if any still exist. Or, uh, metaphorical buzzards, if those guys found his body first. A lot of meat on those bones, just saying. So yeah, it's not a perfect game. But I really enjoyed my time with it. And honestly, I hope you guys did too. But, uh... For now, I guess the story has to come to an end. I'll probably be moving on to uh, a new game, but I really will make an effort to come back and, uh, you know, get all the history relics, clear out Gut Gash's territory's threat and all that. You know what, I put it back on for a joke, but if this is going to be the sign-off, then I am going to put that halo back on. Before I do the outro, I'd just like to do one last shout-out to my good friend Ronan Drake, who gifted me this game in the first place. <laughs> it's been a hell of a journey, Drake. So thank you. I've really enjoyed myself, and I hope you enjoyed the playlist. So. If this interests you at all, if you like open world games and you like the post-apocalypse genre, then this could absolutely be a great time for you. So yes. I hereby recommend Mad Max. But for now, I'm Burning Dogface, and on behalf of myself, Max Rokotansky, our dear departed friend Chum Bucket, and uh, his dear departed chariot, the Magnum Opus, As well as all those who uh, helped us along the way, like Jeet, Gut Gash, Pink Eye, Deep Fryer, and, uh, and Hope and Glory, even. I thank you for joining me for Let's Play Mad Max. I'll see you on my next video series. I hope to see you on my le next video series. And I hope you've enjoyed this one.
Till then, have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later!